Ireland Funds are a philanthropic group that have chapters all over the world. Here in Singapore, they've done fantastic work for the last 10 years. I personally have been involved with them since the middle of 2018, when I was directing a play called Translations. They were one of the major sponsors and made an incredibly important contribution in getting that play up off the ground and getting the people here in Singapore a bit of real, authentic Irish theatre. Moments later, I was walking right past the Gestapo. Coal sack on the back. I've been many things, but a coal man. The Donald Courtney God Has No Country project actually came from the Ireland Funds themselves. Some of the members of the Ireland Funds had told me about this one-man show that was going on in Ireland and in other parts of the world called God Has No Country. The guy who's doing it, Donald Courtney, is also a very well-respected acting coach. So we thought that the acting schools here in Singapore and the art schools here in Singapore, like La Salle and NAFA and Intercultural Theatre Institute, could benefit hugely from a guy like Donald coming over and also we really wanted to see his show as well. So it was a perfect uh, project to, to focus our attention on next. Right under the gaze of the Gestapo. For us here at La Salle, the best, the best thing was the way he kind of came into a world where we're doing some of the things that he was teaching the students. But I think he added a whole kind of layer of focus to it which was really, really quite splendid. Like animals coming out of hibernation. Whenever I'm teaching viewpoints to the actors at the school here, I'm thinking of it from a director's point of view for production itself. So to actually have a, a working actor, an actor who is currently doing a show while he was here, it's one thing to have a, a teacher that they see every single day teaching them viewpoints, but to actually have a working professional come back in and say, also, I use it as well, was really good for them to hear. They have survived! We have survived! We have The thing I found the most beneficial about taking part in Donald's workshop was the fact that it kind of opened our eyes to how we could change it up for the last couple of nights of the show because we actually went away and used a lot of the stuff that he taught us. And the best and like the scariest was um, doing the 20 movements with the chair. Yep. You would think it's very easy, but it's not. Yep. That was my hardest too. But then I've learned that like because by doing it a lot of times, you're kind of forced to like just do it, you know, like stop thinking. Don't overthink. He definitely gave me more to think about when it comes to theatre. The lessons that he taught are more applicable to what I do now. So I'll, his lessons will definitely be in my mind whenever I act on stage. It gives so many opportunities for people to have so many different learning experiences. If the workshop didn't happen, I would never have found that kind of click moment. When you keep knocking at a door, you keep knocking and knocking and you just want to be let in and finally someone kind of opens the door. It's that click moment and, you know, it was overwhelming for me. I mean, just seeing it kind of come to life like that. Daniel is such, a, such an engaging um, per person when he gave the workshop. And I just hope that we have more workshops like this so we can all improve as actors. I think it's, I think I think it's really useful. Well, yeah, we should have yeah. more. We were, we were really pleasantly happy with, with um, the Thursday workshop. So, yeah. So. I think it's always a good thing just to have the experience of working with new, tut new tutors and everything. I think it's, it's always a beneficial thing, especially for us where obviously we have like our set course, but when we get into level three, we don't actually have any physical classes anymore. So, getting the opportunity to take part in a workshop is we're going to jump at the chance pretty much. <laughs> The impact of this project uh, has been huge. From all the students that I've talked to, from the faculty members of the different schools, it's been a great success and I can tell they got a huge amount out of it. I'm looking forward to helping to forge the relationship between the Ireland Funds and these schools into the future. And I'd like to thank the Ireland Funds for making the development of arts and the development of relationships between them and the different art schools a priority of theirs. So thank you, Arlen Funds. Mm -hmm.